the Apple Watch Series 6 has some new sensors and a brighter screen, but other than that, it looks pretty similar to last year's Series 5. Of course, we're never content with surface level comparisons around here, so today we're going to dismantle Apple's latest timepiece. Welcome to the Apple Watch Series 6 teardown. Opening the Series 6 is pretty much the same as previous versions. A good deal of heat and prying eventually gets the display lifted up, but the Series 6 does have a couple of interesting changes right off the bat. Now that Force Touch has been removed, there is, of course, no Force Touch gasket underneath the screen, which actually makes things easier. The Force Touch gasket was almost a guaranteed casualty of any screen or battery replacement. In fact, it was so commonly damaged that we just started including them in our screen replacement kits. Now that it's gone, screen replacement will be a much less destructive process. The other big change is that once we're past the adhesive, the screen opens to the side rather than from the bottom up. This feels like it makes unsticking and disconnecting the display cables a little easier, but the process is still tricky. And as always, these Apple Watch cables are extremely delicate. The Series 6 display uses the same variable refresh rate LTPO technology that the Series 5 did, but according to Apple, this new display's always on mode is two and a half times brighter in the sun with your wrist down. For more info on this really cool display technology, check out our Series 5 teardown where we dive into the technical details of what makes this watch display tick. Disconnecting the battery still requires prying it out before you can access the connector, and just like we saw with the Series 5, this 40mm Series 6's battery is encased in a metal pouch that the 44mm battery doesn't have. This battery is rated at 1.024 watt hours, which is an 8.5% increase from the 40mm Series 5. Next, we set our sights on the Taptic engine. According to Apple, this component is made using 100% recycled rare earth and tungsten, which is really, really cool. But don't forget, reuse is much better for the environment than recycling. With the Taptic engine removed, we can see what a complex device this really is. Every nook and cranny of this case is filled with tiny sensors and components, and we're impressed, but that doesn't make this thing any less tricky to deal with. To give you an idea of how tiny these components are if you've never opened an Apple Watch before, here is a grain of rice. And here is a screw from the inside of the Series 6. This is not an especially easy device to work with, but given its size and complexity, it's a lot better than it could be. To get the brains out of this watch, we're going in through the back, and some gentle prying lifts the rear sensor right off. The new pulse oximeter has red, green, and infrared lights which shine on your skin, and based on how they bounce back to the photodiode, the sensor can tell how oxygenated your blood is. A very neat new trick for the Apple Watch, but as always, you should take the results with a grain of salt. With the sensor out of the way, the resin-encased S6 system and package comes right out. The resin hides most of the S6's secrets, and unfortunately the S6 package still has a number of cables soldered to it, so if you damage one of those, you're looking at a very complicated or expensive repair. With our Apple Watch Series 6 disassembled, it's time to talk repairability. The Apple Watch Series 6 scored a 6 out of 10 on a repairability scale. The good news is that screen replacements are safer than ever now that there's no force touch gasket, and battery replacements are easy enough once you're inside. There are still too many tri-point screws for our liking though, and it's a bummer to see so many delicate cables still permanently attached to the S6 package. Thanks for watching our Apple Watch Series 6 teardown. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and check out our Apple Watch Series 5 teardown to see what's changed. Or if you want to see even more tiny tech, you can check out our Galaxy Beans teardown.